Some modes of public transport provided free rides, and the restaurants offered discounts as part of the handover anniversary festivities. There were so many visitors to enter the M Plus Museum that people were stopped from joining the queue an hour before closing time. Jenny Slow reports. Long before the Palace Museum in West Kowloon opened its doors at 10 a.m., visitors were already waiting in line. Entry was free for 3,500 people who managed to book online, while others had to pay. This group failed to obtain free tickets, but they turned up in costumes from the past to celebrate the handover anniversary. This woman said they wish to promote the beauty of Chinese culture to the world. The weather was very hot, but it was worth it, she added. The Amplis Museum next door welcomed visitors free of charge. It closes at 6 p.m., but there were still crowds outside at 5 p.m., forcing the museum to stop accepting visitors. As of 5 p.m., over 20,000 people visited Amplis, and more than 6,600 went to the Palace Museum. The Star Ferry and other companies offered free rides on some sea routes. This tourist from Nanjing said the freebie helped to promote the Hong Kong brand. The MTR also offered free rides on its buses and the light rail. And people do not have to pay to travel on trams for five days starting today. Actually, this is the first time we avail the free ride on yeah. tram. Do you feel excited about this? Of course! Yeah, yes, it's free! It's free because <laughs> it's free. the first time. Over 1,400 restaurants wrote up discounts, charging only 71% of the price of some items. Pontus had extra money to place on bats as they did not have to pay to enter the Shatin race course. But the rivalry was overshadowed by the death of Manlight, which suffered a heart attack after crossing the finishing line last in race three. Janice Lowe, HKIBC.